Uh-huh. So it's your boy, CG. It's me. And y'all already know the deal, gentlemen. I'm back with some more heat. So before I even get started, be sure to dive into this deep topic. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the Patreon for only $5 a month. Y'all can get my online training. $5 a month. I'm going to get you right in the gym. Going to have stories too exclusive, too crazy, too vulgar for YouTube. Smash the like button, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, and send me to the friggin' moon, y'all. I had a lowest subscriber, uh, Jay, I'm gonna call him for the sake of this video, asked me a really, really, really good question. I was actually just talking about this question with my boy the other day. He basically said, um, I can't really read the question out to you because I'm recording. I just got done doing like my fourth workout of the day. But um, anyway, dude asked me, what do you do when you feel alone? He said, I feel alone. Uh, I feel like nobody messes with me. He's in the Army ROTC, so salute to you. Thank you for your service. I know y'all in the Army are going through a lot right now. Um, but he basically asked me a really good question. He said, yo, how do you, um, maneuver and navigate through life when you feel alone, when you feel like everybody's left you, everybody's forgotten about you, everybody else seems to be moving on, doing well, and you're stuck feeling sorry, um, for yourself in your own head. You feel like you have no friends, um, et cetera, et cetera. You feel alone. You feel like, um, you're not doing as well. You're, you're not happy. Things like that. You know what I'm trying to say? What do you do when you feel alone? What do you do when you feel like you have no friends, when everybody's forgotten about you? And I'm going to tell you from firsthand experiences that, bro, I feel you. I've been in your shoes. I've lost a lot of friends over the last two years, bro. Um, but on the miracles are built on the platform of tragedy, bro. You feel me? And really understand that is that, bro, like you can't get good things without the bad. And I know it might sound cliche, but there are no rainy days. There are no sunny days without rain. You feel me? So. Things are going to happen to you, bro, and it's all how you handle it, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Things are going to happen to you. Bad shit's going to happen to you. Things are going to suck. But how do you maneuver? How do you navigate through life, bro? You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm going to help you. So with that being said, bro, when you feel like everybody's forgotten about you, when you feel like you have no friends, this is another, bro, I was feeling the same way. I used to go to the gym with my hood on, headphones in, mean mugging, like just in a bad mood, negative headspace, not talking to anybody. But then I came out of my shell, loosened up. Realize that, bro, all these dudes are on the same mission as me. So instead of like not saying you're doing this, but for me pers personally, I was walling people out. I was building walls because I was hurting on the inside. But instead, I started coming out of my shell, started smiling more, started talking to people, throwing them compliments. And now a lot of my good friends are dudes that, I, that play Division One football, just like me. Dudes that play college football, just like me. Dudes that run track in college, just like me. Dudes that play lacrosse in college, just like me. Dudes that play baseball in college, just like me. Dudes that hit the gym and are yoked every single day, just like me. So I say that to say this, is that, bro, you need to find friends with common interests. The only reason that you have no friends and um, that you feel like people have forgotten about you is because you're too focused on, um, like, living in your own world. You feel what I'm saying? But it's okay to extend the olive branch to go shoot a compliment at somebody. It's okay to make a friend at the gym. It's okay to go out and be like, hey, bro, you look good today, bro. You know what I mean? It's okay to say that. No homo. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But moral of the story is, bro, what I'm trying to say is that you need to find friends with common interests. That's why you have no friends, because you outgrew your other friends. You feel what I'm saying? God replaces, God removes to replace. You feel me? So he removed your old friends. He removed the people that, that maybe didn't have common interests with you, the people that were holding you back. So he can replace them with new friends, replace them with new people. You feel what I'm saying? So he's going to remove those old friends, remove the old garbage, remove the old chicks to replace you, replace them with better friends, more high value chicks, better people around you. You feel me? So what I'm trying to say is, bro, is that you need to find friends with common interests. That's first things first, because as humans, bro, we're social creatures. I used to love being alone. I used to embrace being alone. I used to embrace being a lone wolf. But I realized, bro, is that you make connections and you build friends and them connections, bro, your network is your net worth. So go out of your shell a little bit. Try to make some friends. Make friends with common interests. You go to the gym, make a friend with dudes at the gym. You and your army ROTC core, I don't really know how that works. But you know what I'm saying? Maybe make a friend with um, a dude in your ROTC group. You feel me? But with that being said, bro, is I don't really have many friends on my football team. You know what I'm saying? So I can see why you maybe don't want to be friends with dudes in your platoon or whatever the case may be. But go to the gym. Go somewhere where you like doing something. Go skiing, go fishing, and make friends with people that are at that space. You know what I'm trying to say? It's the same thing with meeting girls, bro. You want to meet a girl with common interests, bro? Go to the gym. You get break, uh, you, icebreakers right there. You feel what I'm saying? So kind of moving on with this video is that when you talk about like feeling alone, bro, and like feeling like the world is moving on without you, bro, is that this is a cold truth, but like the world is going to move on without you. So you got to keep moving too. 
You feel what I'm saying? And not to sound messed up when I say that, but bro, you can't be worried about what everybody else is doing. You can't be worried about who likes you. He said, he said, she said this about you. You need to know how to maneuver through BS, know how to maneuver through, through hard times. You feel what I'm saying? You need to not be so focused on everybody else and focus on yourself. And when you focus on yourself, blessings and, and things like that come to you. And I know I sound like I might be contradicting myself when I say that you need to go out and talk to people and do this out and all that and make friends, but really need to understand what I'm saying, bro. Is that when you go out and you make friends with people with common interests, I'm not saying go talk to everybody at the gym and be that dude. But I'm saying you see a dude that maybe looks cool, looks like a cool dude, got his ears pierced, got a fly haircut, looks just like you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you look, but I'm just saying that like for somebody that I would I would want to talk to. You know what I mean? Somebody that looks like me looks like I, I can I can automatically break the ice with them. Um, but I'm not worried about what he's doing, so to speak. But I'll throw him a compliment and 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 I want to talk to him. You know what I'm trying to say? But I'm not gonna go out of my way and try to please people. You know what I'm trying to say? This is a fine line with that. But really what I'm trying to say is, bro, is that you can't be worried about everybody else. You can't be focused on everybody else. You can't be focused on what he sh he said, she said. Oh my God, they don't like me. Oh my God, I feel alone. Bro, do something about it. Have your head held high. No, dude doesn't want to talk to you at the gym. Okay, move on. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Okay, move on. You lost some of your friends because you outgrew them. Okay, move on. You can't keep focused on all the negative because that that's how how you go on a downward spiral. You feel what I'm saying? But you go out, you make friends with common interests. Keyword, common interests. You don't talk to everybody because a lot of people aren't worthy of your energy. But you talk to people that have common interests as you, that look like cool dudes. But you worry about yourself, you focus on yourself because you don't want to be sad, be alone. That's not the right way to feel. That's not how human beings should feel. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to feel happy. You want to make sure you're happy. You want to do things that make you happy. Whatever you need to do on a daily basis to get yourself up and feeling good, do it. You feel me? But you need to focus on yourself first. And don't be focused on what everybody else is doing because you can't look to other people to make you happy. You need to look in yourself and make you happy. You feel what I'm saying? Do things that make you happy. Don't rely on other people to make you happy because that's what it sounds like you're doing. It sounds like you're looking out, looking for external validation. Um, look at like, bro, honestly, it would suck if I lost all my friends, but I could go out. Actually, no, I'm not going to say that because I really do love my boys. But like, um, if I lost like a bunch of people in my life, I could still go out and like maybe feel OK enough to go out and like make new friends and like go out and like break the ice. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example, bro. You lose a girl, girl breaks up with you. Abundance mindset. You go out and, and, and you do things that make you happy. You might feel down in the dumps for a couple of days. Then you go out, go out of your shell, extend the olive branch and, and talk to a different chick and life goes on. <coughs> Excuse me. Same rule applies with your friends, bro. Go out, extend the olive branch, and make new friends. But don't be so worried about what the other girl is doing. Don't be so worried about what other people are doing. Don't be so worried about what your boys are doing. Don't be so worried about what he sh he said, she said. Don't be so worried about how other people feel. Don't be so worried about pleasing people, bro. Please yourself. When you please yourself, all those blessings come with it. You feel what I'm saying? So don't be so worried about everybody else. Just focus on yourself, bro. Because life's going to go on. So what are you going to do when life goes on? Every single day you have a choice to either sit there and feel sorry or wake up and do something about it. Wake up and make a new friend. Wake up and go get paid. Wake up and go to the gym and, and talk to somebody. But when you sit there and you wake up and you navigate and maneuver through life, worried about what everybody else is doing, that's when you feel horrible because you're not putting that energy towards yourself. You're putting that energy towards everybody else. So I really hope y'all understood what I put down in this video. You got any other questions, my email is in the description. My email is in the comment section. So you got any questions, be sure to hit me up. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the Patreon, follow my gram. Some of the friggin' moon, y'all. CG signing on.